friends uh, welcome to the cruise biology today we are talking about the cm pathway or crystalline acid metabolism the co2 fixation mechanism by co2 fixation three ways first one there is there c4 pathway second one is cam pathway and third one is the by the co2 pumps there is a fixation of co2 today we are talking about the cam pathway how the reaction are goes on in the cam pathway and uh, cm plants this metabolism is mainly seen in the desert plants in the hot and dry condition where there is a prevention of the h2o losses in the day condition in these plants the cm mechanism that enables the plant to improve the efficiency of water it is found in the some of the cruciferous family and angiosperm like uh, pineapple and like the jed and sedum plants here the name refers the acid metabolism in the cruciferous family not the metabolism of the cruciferous acid now we are going to more detail about how it is uh, the reactions are taking place in the cam pathway and in the day condition in the and in the night condition in the night condition there is a opening of stomata so the entry of the co2 into the cell through the stomata and convert into the hco3 minus by the enzyme called carbonic anhydrase now the enzyme pep carboxylase comes in action and convert the pep into the oxaloacetate the kinase aid the phosphate on the pep carboxylase as convert into the oxaloacetate and this oxaloacetate convert into the malate by the enzyme called nad malic dehydrogenase and this malate is stored as a malic acid in the vacuoles now this malic acid in the day condition come out from the vacuoles and as a malate there is a decarboxylation of malate by the enzyme called nadp plus malic enzyme this enzyme decarboxyl decarboxylate the malate and there is a formation of co2 and pyruvate now the co2 cannot come out come out from the cell because there is a closing of stomata and the prevention of the h2o losses through transpiration in stomata there is a closing of some stomata so the rubp is bind with the co2 and rubisco is the enzyme to carry out the kelvin cycle here there is a enough co2 uh, for the rubisco enzyme so it is going into the kelvin cycle because of there is a co2 it cannot come out from the cell and the pyruvate there is it is a triose phosphate that it is convert into the starch molecule and starch is further use in the day condition to formation of the reformation of pp so further reaction goes on it is a combination of the night and day mechanism and uh, some of the reactions are similar to the c4 pathway here you can see that picture that is more precisely explain how the reaction is taking place in the night condition and how reaction taking place in the day condition there is entry of co2 and h2o combined with the co2 and the carbonic anhydrase that enzyme convert the convert into the hco3 minus and there is a addition of the phosphate pp carboxylase the reaction goes on and last one there is a stored of malic acid into the vacuoles now this malic acid in the day condition and convert into the malate and malate go out from the uh, 
chloroplast sorry vacuoles and this pathway operated through pyruvate and synthesis of sucrose and there is a co2 formation this kelvin cycle operated and there there is a, from the malate uh, also convert into the oxaloacetate and there is a formation of sucrose and now sucrose and starch is formed now we are going to more detail about the pp carboxylase is the enzyme main enzyme uh, for the regulation of uh, this mechanism it is a diurnal regulation of the cmpp when the night condition it is converted into the active form by adding of the kinase enzyme on the serine residue of phosphate remember friends that it is most important is serine residue of the phosphate only active at that site and it is insensitive to malate because there is also malate present in the night condition so there is a insensitive to malate and on the day condition there is a phosphate enzyme that removes the phosphate and convert into the active form and uh, this inactive sorry inactive form it is inhibited by the malate now the here graph shown that there is in the night condition in the night condition there is a in gradually increase of the co2 concentration in the titania phase indica plant and when the environment occur when the c3 metabolism under untrust condition these plants uh, convert into the or shifted into the cam metabolism when we are, we are giving to the heat stress water stress or soil stress so it means that there is some of the cam genes responsible for the stress signaling this plant carried out c3 metabolism and only remember friends friends unstressed condition it is operated in c3 metabolism when you are applying to applying various stresses then it convert into the cm pathway now in aquatic environments there is a cyanobacteria and green algae that does not have the enough concentration to fuse the co2 concentration in the aquatic so intracellular there is a co2 present there is a co2 present intracellularly so fix the co2 and in the diatoms it is a fine example of photosynthetic organism and which is, it is abundant in the phytoplankton and a co2 concentrating mechanism with the c4 pathway and response to environment fluctuation now remember friends it is very important mechanism in the xeric conditions in the dry conditions uh, because there is a prevention of h2o and maximum plant have to use the maximum water efficiency so thank you friends for watching this video if you like our videos then hit the like button and subscribe our channel thank you